creating a surplus transfer using asset works. When you've logged on to asset works, it will bring you to the home screen. It looks like this. Your two main areas will be assets and surplus. You'll be able to go into surplus, click on it. This will bring you to the ad hoc search surplus transfers. This will be a list of all previous and ongoing surplus transfers for your business area. You can utilize this to search past surplus transfers or look at the ongoing ones by creation date, the actual surplus number, the person who submitted the surplus transfer, or even the assets that have been added. You have columns for approved flag, approved date, the date it was received by MNR, the asset transfer status, the approver, and the receiver of the surplus transfers. You can click on any of these headers and sort. by any of them in the search dialog. To create a surplus transfer, click on Create. This will bring you to the Create Surplus Transfer screen. Click on this icon. Input your business area and click Search. Click on the business area and it has been added. We'll do the same thing for the call center. CPDs, surplus transfers, and trade and authorizations will be all using this site. Your disposal type will be chosen here. If you were to choose a CPD, you'd have your CPD type in the drop down box. After choosing your disposal type, please make sure that your contact information is correct. Read your terms and conditions. Once you have read and agree, click the checkbox and hit create. This is your surplus detail screen. It has all the information on the previous screen, plus the surplus number for the transfer that's been generated by the system. If you are adding non-ASIS assets, well, you will use this import assets field by utilizing An Excel template. The headers in yellow are required. If the acquisition cost is not known, please default to zero. If you are an ASUS user and are utilizing this Excel form, please note that you are not to submit SDFs with ASUS items on this template. All ACES items will be pulled from a database that I'll show later. Once you have inputted all the information you wish to submit to MNR, please make sure that you remove 
the header. Then you will save. Make sure it's saved to a CSV file. Then once you've saved your CSV file, simply drag and drop into the import assets field. Once you see that your file is in here, click on import assets. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that your assets have been loaded. Your tag numbers generated are non-tagged asset numbers. If you look at these numbers, the first four digits are the business area. The second set of numbers are the surplus property transfer number. Then the third set are a unique number to the asset being submitted. And finally, the NT stands for non-tagged, as in non-tagged asset. ASIS assets will not have NT numbers. Since it's an ASIS asset, it would be pulled directly from the database provided from ASIS. In order to associate pictures and images and documents to these, since they will be required, you can click on them by hitting the zero, choosing file, clicking on it and hitting open. Once you've chosen your file, hit save and done. For larger Excel files, you may not want to do this one by one, so you can go down to download. This will download a CSV file that will also be known as an asset mapping file. The two main columns that we'll utilize for this are A and K. The remaining columns are just there to help you know which asset you are working with. So the first asset here, we have a laptop. We're gonna utilize laptop one for the first asset. We simply type the name of the file and the file type into column K. Please make sure that the file names are correctly typed into this column or it will present an error later on. We'll associate laptop item two with file laptop two dot jpg. And that would be this file here. For the chair, we'll utilize this one.
once you've added all information that is needed in here, please remove all columns except for A and K from the template. Then remove the header. You'll want to make sure that it's saved as a CSV file. And I've saved it to the desktop. The next step we need to do is actually make a file for the images to go into. So we'll go to our desktop and we'll right click for new and compressed zip folder. So once we've made our zip file, we'll simply drag and drop the images into the zip file. We'll put this by our asset mapping file. We'll bring up Asset Works again in smaller form. That way, I, I can show you exactly what I'm doing here. We'll go to Assets, Batch Attachment Import. We'll take our zip file, drag and drop to the attachment zip file location, and the asset mapping file CSV will drop here. Then we'll hit Submit. As you see here, I have my import results, my mapping file and my zip file were sent in three records with no errors. So now that I see that, I can go to surplus, back to the surplus transfer I was working on, and I can see that my files have been uploaded to each asset both aces and non aces agencies can utilize this method of uploading non aces assets if you are a aces agency you will need to utilize this method first and completely upload your images to the assets before using the add assets module. Only ACES users will utilize this portion of the add assets. By clicking this icon, this will bring up all ACES assets for that business area you are assigned. You can choose one by clicking on it and then click Add Asset, you can scroll to the bottom and see that that asset has been added. Please notice that the tag number is not an NT tag number. It will utilize the ACES asset as an in-transfer number. We have a zero for our images. We can click on here to add Singularly, any of the photos that are needed. Once you've added the asset, click Save and Done. I have not added an image to this one because I'd like to illustrate how to remove an asset. 
click this button. And in this field here, it will show you the asset to remove. Click on this and it gives you a list of all available assets that have been added. Click on the one you wish to remove and click remove asset. So with the ones that we've shown here, we have all assets added that we wish to add. And we have images for each. If we wanted to submit this asset for approval by M&R, we'd click on Submit for Approval. We see in the top right-hand corner that our surplus has been submitted for approval. The green headers that you see indicate that everything is moving slowly. If you see a red header, it will actually tell you the problem being presented with the system and allow you to correct for it. At any time, you can go in and look at the progress of your surplus transfer. This one's just been submitted. And if we wish to see if MNR has approved it, we can see that it has not been. Once it has been, you will see a Y for yes, the date it was approved and the approver. Same way with received by MNR, you have a received date and the name of the receiver. Once you've added assets, you can go back to the pickup labels. The pickup labels are going to be required to be attached to the asset so the pickup labels look as such you have your business area your business area name then you have your tag number for each asset so with this tag number you have your business area your surplus transfer number then a unique number or line item number for the asset followed by nt these numbers are generated for non-tagged assets. An ACES number would show up for ACES assets submitted on the surplus transfer. So as you see here, this one would go for our first HB desktop. Then we have a 003 here that would go for the table. We have a 002 which would go for our other HP desktop. So even before submitting these assets to M&R, you can print your pickup labels or even after you've submitted to M&R, you can print the pickup labels. If you wish to check on the status of your surplus transfer, simply go to the ad hoc search surplus transfers, scroll to your right. And since this one that we just submitted has not been approved, it does not show an approved flag, an approved date, well, we can look at one in the past that has. This one's been approved. It was approved on February 14th. And then also shows the name of the prover.